a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. The Dark Knight Rises The Dark Knight Rises is a 2012 superhero film directed by Christopher Nolan, who co-wrote the screenplay with his brother Jonathan Nolan, and the story with David S. Goyer. Featuring the DC Comics character Batman, the film is the final installment in Nolan's The Dark Knight trilogy, and the sequel to The Dark Knight. Christian Bale reprises the lead role of Bruce Wayne slash Batman, with a returning cast of allies, Michael Caine as Alfred Pennyworth, Gary Oldman as James Gordon, and Morgan Freeman as Lucius Fox. The film introduces Selina Kyle and Bane. Eight years after the events of The Dark Knight, merciless revolutionary Bane forces an older Bruce Wayne to resume his role as Batman and save Gotham City from nuclear destruction. Christopher Nolan was hesitant about returning to the series for a second time, but agreed after developing a story with his brother and Goya that he felt would conclude the series on a satisfactory note. Nolan drew inspiration from Bane's comic book debut in the 1993 Nightfall storyline, the 1986 series The Dark Knight Returns, and the 1999 storyline, No Man's Land. Filming took place in locations including Jodhpur, London, Nottingham, Glasgow, Los Angeles, New York City, Newark, and Pittsburgh. Nolan used IMAX 70mm film cameras for much of the filming, including the first six minutes of the film. To optimize the quality of the picture, a vehicle variation of the Batplane and Batcopter termed the Bat, an underground prison set, and a new Batcave set were created specifically for the film. As with The Dark Knight, viral marketing campaigns began early during production. When filming concluded, Warner Brothers refocused its campaign, developing promotional websites, releasing the first six minutes of the film, screening theatrical trailers and sending out information regarding the film's plot. The Dark Knight Rises premiered in New York City on July 16, 2012. The film was released in the United States and the United Kingdom on July 20, 2012. It received positive reviews from critics, many of whom named it one of the best films of 2012. Like its predecessor, the film grossed over $1 billion worldwide at the box office making it the second film in the Batman film series to earn $1 billion. In addition to being Nolan's highest-grossing film, it is the 20th highest-grossing film of all time, the third highest-grossing film of 2012, and the fifth highest-grossing superhero film of all time. Plot Eight years after the death of District Attorney Harvey Dent, Batman has disappeared and organized crime has been eradicated in Gotham City thanks to the Dent Act, which gives the Gotham City Police Department expanded powers. Police Commissioner James Gordon has kept secret Dent's murderous rampage as Two-Face, and allowed blame for Dent's crimes to fall on Batman, but feels guilty about lying to the public. He writes a resignation speech revealing the truth but decides that the city is not ready to hear it. Bruce Wayne has become a recluse, broken by the death of his childhood sweetheart Rachel Dawes, and Wayne Enterprises is losing profits after Wayne discontinued his fusion reactor project when he learned that it could be weaponized. Cat burglar Selina Kyle obtains Wayne's fingerprints from his home and kidnaps Congressman Byron Gilly. She sells the fingerprints to Wayne's corporate rival John Daggett. As payment, she requests a clean slate a computer program that can wipe all traces of a person's criminal record. Kyle is double-crossed at the exchange, but she uses Gilly's phone to alert the police. Gordon and the police arrive to find the congressman, and then pursue Daggett's henchman into the sewers while Selina flees. The men capture Gordon and take him to Bane, a masked terrorist and former member of the League of Shadows, who has set up his base of operations in the sewers. Gordon escapes and is found by rookie officer John Blake. Blake, a fellow orphan, confronts Bruce and convinces him to return as Batman. Bane attacks the Gotham Stock Exchange by using Wayne's fingerprints in a transaction that leaves Wayne bankrupt. He then kills Daggett. Wayne's butler, Alfred Pennyworth, reveals that Rachel Dawes had intended to marry Dent before she died, and then resigns in an attempt to convince Bruce to move on with his life. Wayne finds comfort in Wayne Enterprises CEO Miranda Tate, who becomes his lover. Kyle agrees to take Batman to Bane, but instead leads him into Bane's trap. 
Bane reveals that he intends to fulfill Ra's al Ghul's mission to destroy Gotham, and then steals Batman's technology from Wayne Enterprise's armor Lucius Fox. Bane fights Batman and delivers a crippling blow to his back, before taking him abroad to an underground prison. There, the inmates tell Wayne the story of Ra's al Ghul's child, who was born and raised in the prison before finally escaping, the only prisoner to have ever done so. Bane lures Gotham's police underground, and uses explosives to trap them and destroy the bridges surrounding the city. He kills Mayor Anthony Garcia and forces Dr. Leonid Pavel, a Russian nuclear physicist he kidnapped from Uzbekistan, to convert the reactor core into an atomic bomb before killing him as well. Bane then uses the bomb to hold the city hostage and isolate Gotham from the world. Using Gordon's stolen speech, Bane reveals the cover-up of dense crimes to the public, and releases the prisoners of Blackgate Penitentiary, initiating anarchy. The wealthy and powerful are then taken captive and given show trials presided over by Jonathan Crane, where all are sentenced to death. Months later, a recovered Wayne escapes from the prison. He returns to Gotham and enlists Gordon and Fox to help stop the bomb's detonation, while tasking Blake and Kyle with helping to evacuate the city, giving the Batpod to Kyle so she can create an escape route. Batman frees the trapped police, and they clash with Bane's army in the streets. During the battle, Batman overpowers Bane. Tate intervenes and stabs Batman, revealing herself to be Talia al Ghul, Ra's al Ghul's daughter. Bane was her protector, who aided her escape from the prison, and she had been plotting to avenge her father and destroy Gotham as he intended. She uses the detonator, but Gordon blocks her signal, preventing remote detonation. Talia leaves to find the bomb while Bane prepares to kill Batman, but Kyle arrives and kills Bane with the Batpod's cannons. Batman and Kyle pursue Talia, hoping to bring the bomb back to the reactor chamber where it can be stabilized. Talia truck crashes, but she remotely floods and destroys the reactor chamber before dying. With no way to stop a detonation, Batman uses the bat to haul the bomb far over the bay, where it finally explodes. In the aftermath, Batman is presumed dead and is honored as a hero. With Wayne presumed dead as well, Wayne Manor becomes an orphanage, and his remaining estate is left to Alfred. Fox discovers that Wayne had fixed the bat's autopilot, and Gordon finds the bat signal refurbished. While visiting Florence, Alfred discovers that Wayne is alive, and in a relationship with Selina Kyle, Blake resigns from the police force and, in accordance to Wayne's will, inherits the Batcave. Cast Colon a billionaire socialite who dedicates himself to protecting Gotham City from its criminal underworld. Nolan has stated that, due to the eight-year gap between The Dark Knight and The Dark Knight Rises, he's an older Bruce Wayne. He's not in a great state. Bale employed a martial arts discipline called the Kesey Fighting Method, now modified for Bruce's current state and Bane's style. Bale has stated that The Dark Knight Rises will be his final Batman film. Bale acknowledged that Batman is not a healthy individual. This is somebody that is doing good, but he's right on the verge of doing bad. Bale clarifies that he doesn't want to forget his parents' deaths. He wants to maintain that anger he felt at that injustice. Bale felt bittersweet about leaving the franchise, saying that it was like saying goodbye to an old friend, Bruce's trusted butler and confidant, who acts as a father figure to Bruce, but is unable to accept Bruce's desire to revive his Batman persona, even resigning from his position, to impress the seriousness of his position upon him. Christopher Nolan emphasized the emotional bond between Alfred and Bruce stressing its importance in the previous films and predicting that the relationship will be strained as it never has before. The commissioner of the Gotham City Police Department, and one of the city's few honest police officers, Oldman described the character's work in cleaning up Gotham City as having left him world-weary and slightly bored, likening Gordon to a soldier who leaps at the chance to be on the front lines. His life has taken a turn for the worse since the Dark Knight. His wife has left him, and taken their children and the mayor is planning to dismiss him from his job. Gordon feels guilty over his role in covering up Harvey Dent's crimes and is prepared to resign from his position as commissioner over it, but then senses that Gotham is about to come under threat. A professional cat burglar, grifter, and femme fatale who establishes a playful, teasing relationship with Bruce that takes some of the somberness away from his character and pursues a clean slate 
when she crosses paths with both Bruce and Batman. Hathaway auditioned not knowing what role she was being considered for. Hathaway described the role as being the most physically demanding she had ever played, and confessed that while she thought of herself as being fit she had to redouble her efforts in the gym to keep up with the demands of the role. Hathaway trained extensively in martial arts for the role, and looked to Hedy Lamarr, who was the inspiration for Catwoman's character, in developing her performance, a mysterious and physically imposing revolutionary who was excommunicated from the League of Shadows and portrays himself as a liberator of pain. He is desperate to continue Ra's al Ghul's legacy by destroying Gotham. The character was chosen by Christopher Nolan, because of his desire to see Batman tested on both a physical and mental level. According to costume designer Lindy Hemming, the character wears a mask that supplies him with an analgesic gas to relieve pain he suffers from an injury sustained early in his story. Hardy intended to portray the character as more menacing than Robert Swenson's version of the character in Joel Schumacher's Batman and Robin and that in order to do so, his portrayal entailed creating a contradiction between his voice and body. Hardy gained 30 pounds for the role, increasing his weight to 200 pounds. Hardy based Bane's voice on several influences, which include Bartley Gorman, and the character's comic book heritage. Bane claims that his revolution's enemies are the rich and the corrupt, who he contends are oppressing the people political theorist, and cultural critic Slavoj Žižek sees Bane as fighting structural injustice, while likening him to a modern-day Che Guevara who is counter-intuitively driven to violence out of a sense of love. Colon a recently promoted member of the Wayne Enterprises executive board who encourages a still grieving Bruce to rejoin with society and continue his father's philanthropic works, but is later revealed to be the daughter of Ra's al Ghul and the mastermind behind Bane's actions. Joey King portrays the younger version of Talia, a young police officer whose instincts lead him to believe that there is trouble on the horizon, and is promoted to detective by Gordon when the elder cop saw something of himself within the younger. Blake represents the idealism that Gordon and Bruce Wayne once held, but soon lost in their battle against crime in the city. The film reveals his legal name to be Robin John Blake, a homage to Batman's sidekick in the comics, Robin, the CEO and later executive president of Wayne Enterprises, who runs the company on Bruce's behalf and serves as his armorer for the Batsuit, providing him with high-tech equipment and discreetly developing cutting-edge technology and weaponry, even as Wayne Enterprises starts losing money. Matthew Modine appears as Peter Foley, Gordon's second-in-command that disdains Batman. Ben Mendelsohn portrays John Daggett, a rival billionaire socialite who employs Bane in his plan to take control of Wayne Enterprises, and Bern Gorman appears as Daggett's assistant and executive vice president Philip Striver. Alona Butbull portrays Leonid Pavel, a Russian nuclear physicist who is kidnapped from Uzbekistan by Bane and forced to convert the new Wayne Enterprises reactor core into a bomb. Juno Temple plays Jen, Kyle's friend and accomplice and Daniel Sanjata portrays Mark Jones, a U.S. special ops officer who leads a task force into Gotham to assist Gordon and the GCPD in freeing the city from Bane's rule. Chris Ellis appears as Father Riley, a priest at the orphanage that Blake grew up in. Brett Cullen portrays Byron Gilly, a U.S. congressman who is kidnapped on Harvey Dent Day by Kyle. Killian Murphy reprises his role as Jonathan Crane, Scarecrow from previous films, as does Liam Neeson as Ra's al Ghul, who appears to Bruce in a hallucination. Josh Pence portrays Ra's al Ghul in scenes set 30 years before the events of Batman Begins. Nesta Carbonell also returns as Anthony Garcia, Gotham's mayor. Other cast members include Aidan Gillen as CIA agent Bill Wilson, Rob Brown, and Desmond Harrington as police officers. Josh Stewart as Bane's right-hand man Barsad, Christopher Judge as one of Bane's henchmen, Noel Gugliemi as Bane's exile compeller, and Tom Conti as a prisoner. William Devane portrays the President of the United States. Aaron Eckhart expressed enthusiasm in returning for a sequel if asked, although he later stated Nolan verified that his character, Harvey Dent, Two-Face, is dead, and only archive footage of Eckhart from The Dark Knight appears in the film. Several members of the Pittsburgh Steelers have cameo appearances as members of the fictional Gotham Rogues football team in the film including Ben Roethlisberger, Heinz Ward, Troy Polamalu, Willie Colon, Marquise Pornsey, Mike Wallace, Heath Miller, Aaron Smith, 
Ryan Clark, James Farrier, La Marwoodley, and Casey Hampton, and former Steelers head coach Bill Coer as the head coach of the Rogues. Pittsburgh Mayor Luke Ravenstall, a kicker in college, appears as the kicker for the Rogues' opponents, the Rapid City Monuments. In 2008, the Rooney family sold a minority stake in the team to Thomas Tull, the CEO and president of Legendary Pictures, which produced The Dark Knight Rises. United States Senator Patrick Leahy, who had made a cameo appearance in The Dark Knight, returned in The Dark Knight Rises, as a Wayne Enterprises board member. Thomas Lennon, who had appeared as a doctor in Memento, once again plays a doctor. India Wadsworth plays the wife of Ras al Ghul and the mother of Talia. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?